Ahoy mateys! My name is Dawn Daniels and I'm the Director of Programs at the Noble Maritime Collection and today we are going to make maritime art. Now what does maritime mean? Well maritime means anything having to do with the ocean, with sailors, with ships, with navigation, or with lighthouses. And so the art that we're going to create today is going to have boats and sea creatures and, and the water. We're going to put the uh, harbor into our picture as well. So I'm going to get started just by using some simple um, construction paper and some paper that's kind of like cardstock and really any kind of paper that you have around the house would work for this project. We're going to create this piece of art today using shapes and we're going to see how shapes fit into the world around us. So I'm going to start off our picture today by drawing a line, but it's not going to be perfectly a straight line. It's going to look something like that. It's kind of a little bit of a curve up. It just reminds me of like when somebody's beginning to smile, like when their mouth is just like that and then they start to, to smile a little bit. So think about it that way. And then I'm going to put uh, just a little line going down and then another line going down right there. So it's just this little bit of a line and then two lines there. So now we're going to make two rectangles. The first rectangle is going to go like this. I'm not putting a bottom on it because it already is there. And then the next rectangle, that's a horizontal one. That's what's called horizontal, which means it's going back and forth. Now we're going to make one that's going straight up and down. So an up and down rectangle, which is called vertical. And it's just like that. So see, I actually just that simply made a nice little boat. And this is a tugboat. So we're going to continue on making shapes by putting in this kind of looks almost, it's kind of a, it's supposed to be a square, but it almost looks like another rectangle. And that's a window. So I'm just going to make a little crisscross design in it. So then I can go ahead and color it in, being careful here to not go too much out of the lines. And if you notice, I didn't put a bottom on my boat. And the reason I didn't do that is because it's why. Anybody out there want to guess why? Because it's in the water, right? Since my boat is already in the water, doesn't need to have a bottom on it. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this in just a little bit more. Like that. Get a little bit taller give my sailors a place to, to stand up. And I'm actually going to fill that in a little bit with brown. That's kind of the deck or the floor inside the boat. And then I'm going to make this line even broader. Okay. Okay. That's good. So up here, I'm going to change the color so that the whole entire boat's not red. I'm going to put a little yellow in there. Maybe toss in a little yellow here. The kind of crayons that I'm using are called Caran d'Ache crayons or a nice soft French crayon. Any crayons will work, of course, for this project. But I, if you notice, I'm blending these colors to kind of make new colors. So I'm also going to put some tires on the boat and I think I'm just going to do that here because sailors like to use tires as bumpers so that when they are bringing their tugboats in to the pier in case they bump into the pier it's kind of like a bumper so it doesn't scratch the side of the boat so that's going to go right there okay so now I'm going to go ahead and put the water in. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to make up a story for, for this tugboat because I always like to make up stories as I'm making art. So I'm going to put a little bit of smoke coming out. Don't know if you can see that, so let's see. Let's make a little bit of smoke, a little bit of steam coming out the top of the boat. And now I'm going to use some blue, just a simple blue crayon, and I'm going to put my boat into the water. 
So see, that's why it wasn't important to put the bottom on my boat because now you don't even see the bottom of the boat because it's in the water. So this is my horizon line. My horizon line is where the sky ends and the water begins. And I'm making some nice waves in here. And I never like to stop at one color. I like to add a couple of colors just to give it some what's called dimension and depth. depth. Dimension means it looks fuller. It looks like it's not just flat and sitting there on the paper, but that it's actually coming to life. So to do that, I'm going to add a little bit of seaweed and seafoam colors, some green to the bottom of the boat. And just like that, I have a nice, I have a nice harbor. Okay, so I'm going to take the skinniest pencil that I can find because this is a small boat and I'm going to put um, a sailor onto the boat. So let's do that with just this nice dark, there it is, it's just, I've been using it so much it's gotten kind of short. This little circle is the head of my sailor. And he's got a little hat. So this is our sailor. And I'm not putting too much detail on him. That means I'm not giving him too many features just because he's kind of far away and he's kind of small. But we can see the outline of him there. And he's going in his boat and he's going, he's looking out at sea and all of a sudden there starts to be some waves over here in front of his boat and he's wondering, what is that? There's something there underneath the water. And we can kind of put a few more waves in there. I'm even going to add a little bit of water because there's some splashing and there's some movement. And what that is, he's relieved to see, is actually his friend, the octopus. And she all of a sudden comes popping up out of the water. And she's got kind of, the shape of her head is kind of like this big light bulb. So it's kind of looks like a, kind of looks, she's a very large octopus. And we see it kind of looks like, kind of like a balloon or, or it starts out kind of up here like a circle. But think about a balloon shape. And that's, that's our friend, the octopus. That's the sailor's friend. And so how many arms does an octopus have? I know some of you are probably looking at this and saying, oh, it also looks like an alien. Aliens kind of have the same shape head as an octopus does. But in my world here, in my little picture, this is actually an octopus. And I know that because she's coming up out of the water. And so she sees the sailor and she's seen him before. They're friends. And so with her, one of her eight long arms, she waves hello. And he's relieved too because he sees that it's a nice friendly face. In fact, we can go ahead and give our octopus a face. And she's very happy. And she's particularly happy because a lot of her friends and family had to go to another part of the ocean. And so some of her family is around at the bottom of the sea, but she's missing her friends who are away. And so when she sees the sailor, she gives him a nice wave from where she is in the water. And then he goes ahead and he waves back at his friend. There's his little hand. And now she has legs that you can't really see. Some of her tentacles are down in the water. So we can kind of make it go to here and then stop and let it be like that's where the water is. And then like that and then maybe another one is kind of coming up there and then there's some that we don't see that are down underneath the water and they kind of just fade away and now we're going to talk also about reflections reflections are when you see a little bit of like a shimmer or a sparkle of something that's above the water, but it's got its reflection down inside the water. And so these little purple lines that I'm drawing here are part of the octopus. 
So the octopus and the sailor say hello to each other by waving to each other, and they both look very happy. Even though you can't see the tiny little face on the sailor, you can see that they're both very happy because they miss their friends, and they're able to wave hi to their friends. Even if it's from a distance, that makes them happy. It's just nice to see a happy face, right? Especially one that you know. So we're gonna add one more shape to this, and that is a triangle. And as we think ahead to summer months coming, you might see some sailboats passing by in the harbor. And so it's very, very easy to make a sailboat. So I'm gonna make one that's a little bit older. And how I do that is I'm going to use this crayon that's kind of like a dark yellow color. And this dark yellow color makes a nice sailboat because it looks like the sails have kind of been out there in the weather. They've been kind of, you know, tea stained looking. They look like they've got a little bit of a stain to them. Um, black line down the center, that's my, that's my mast that's holding it up. Color that in a little bit. And then more of this. What color haven't we used? I guess we can use a nice green boat. Oops. Still use the crayon. And just do the same thing we did before. Just make kind of like a little bit of a smile. And then just add two curvy lines on the side. Your sailboat could be any color you want it to be. It could even have some candy pink stripes in it. We're just kind of making a nice cheerful, cheerful scene here today. So there's some other shapes that we can put into our picture too. So the best way that you can do these little fish is by making an oval shape, coloring it in, and then adding a little triangle. And that's your tail. That's the fish tail. And then give your fish a pretty little eye right there. And give them a little bit more water to swim around in. So, then I'm gonna put the reflection in underneath the boat and I'm gonna do that by taking the same color that I used for the boat and put just a little bit of that red in there and then take your finger and kind of blend it around. We used a little bit of yellow there, so I would also go back and do that. And this is nice and light and there's my top of my boat, which is skinnier. And there's my reflection on that. I guess this guy over here needs a little bit of a reflection too. And a sail. And how I like to finish off this type of a picture is by using another bigger piece of construction paper and actually gluing it on, which makes a really nice frame. And you can really change up your pictures by using different colors too. And there's a nice happy yellow color. And then you could just use a glue stick just to attach the two pieces of paper together. And then you have your piece of maritime art. So we really hope that you go ahead and try to make a piece of maritime art, really do any kind of art that makes you feel happy. You can go to our website at noblemaritime.org to find lots of ideas and videos on how you can go ahead and create your own piece of art. So thanks for joining us today, mateys, and have a cheerful day. Bye, everyone.